Have you ever wondered if ants, those tiny creatures, ever take a break? We often see them working tirelessly, but today, let's follow them on a fun-filled vacation to explore a whole new world. Welcome back to Ant Track. I've wandered too many places, but none of them are exciting enough. So this time, I suggest we travel to the desert to admire the pyramids. Wow, I've never been there before. Are the pyramids those giant triangle-shaped things with steps? Ooh, no. That's not what I mean. Oh, so it's this one then. But if that's the case, do we need to go into the city? I hate the city. So, no, that's not it either. Then it must be this one. In the middle of the scorching sand and blazing sun. But inside, it's amazing. That's great. But how are we supposed to travel such a long distance? Don't worry. I'll order the humans to figure it out. Well, that sounds pretty interesting. Once we've received orders from our bosses, we can't slack off. Now, let's get started on building a desert and a pyramid for our little bosses. To create a grand structure resembling the pyramids, we've invested in a massive 60-gallon glass tank. With this kind of dedication, our bosses should really give us a raise. Get to work now! Don't even think about a raise until I see results! Hey, I'm officially passing on this and serving position. Anyone interested? Comment below. Limited slots, but even if you're late, you're still welcome. By the way, back to setting up the tank before I get scolded again. Here's the pyramid model we handcrafted. Inspired by the real thing, we added layers of stalactite inside to make it more dazzling and exciting for our bosses. Now, let's begin setting up this dessert resort for our adorable yet demanding little bosses. Since this tank is quite large, we need a thick layer of pearl gravel to cover the bottom and maintain humidity, or rather, to keep our bosses comfortable. Next, we add a layer of coconut fiber soil to support the plants and creatures living inside. This soil will help naturally form sand dunes over time. For a more realistic environment, I'll spread sand around the tank and blend it with the gravel. Now that the desert ecosystem base is complete, it's time to place the magnificent pyramid right in the center. I even made the smaller pyramids on the sides to enhance the aesthetic. Just a few desert plants for decoration. And our desert landscape is complete. So many plants have been added to enrich the ecosystem to give our bosses more space to play and explore. Now, let's move the bosses in. Come on in and check out the pyramid you've all been dreaming of. Come in, please stay in line. Our pyramid is ready to welcome guests with world-class service and quality. Wow, spend it! I'm so excited! I want to explore right now! Welcome, dear guests, to our Desert Pyramid masterpiece. Huh, not bad. Looks well-crafted. I don't know what the real pyramid looks like, but this place is stunning, especially with the lighting. And I love all the rooms! Hey, don't forget to bring our tiny larvae! Someone help me! There's too many to carry! Handle them carefully. The whole colony is responsible for protecting the next generation. Indeed! Queen! Let's head out and explore. The outside looks pretty impressive. Humans sometimes create cool stuff. Hey, what's over there? I haven't explored that area yet. There's something. Our comrades are over there. Hem, didn't even let me finish. That soldier ant just ran off. Hi there, Hum. Why is it so empty here? I just waved to a little ant, but they ran off. Guess I'll wait here to make some new friends. Lion ants are predators. Was rushing to make friends a terrible mistake? What? No one's here! Why did she say our friends were there? That's a lie! Oh no! As I just mentioned, the ant has become an unlucky prey. It looks scary but is also an impressive hunting move, right? Anyway, let's return to gentler creatures, the crickets. Hey! This place looks awesome! Like a pyramid! Let's split up and explore! Alright, I'll go this way, and you take the other side. No, just stick to the side you're already on. I'm fine. Let's hurry before it gets dark. So sneaky! I bet he already knows there's something cool on that side. Whatever, I'll find my own fun. Let's check out the pyramid. Come with me, guys. Don't follow that guy. He has no sense of direction. Look how much they love the pyramid. I wonder if our bosses will like them. No, 
Who's that? Why are they here? Get them out of our place! Hey, go away! Stay away from our nest! This isn't good! Looks like we're not the only guests here! We were here first. Nothing to be scared of. Oh no! Why is there a lizard over there? It looks deadly and slippery. Get closer. And I'll bite you! Hmm, I bought them because they look cool. But why are the bosses calling them ugly? And they're much friendlier than the lion ant. What? Oh my god! Our cricket has no way to escape the lizard's attack. Hmm. I take back my previous statement. They don't seem friendly and approachable after all. No wonder the ants are wary. Oh wait, what's that? That cricket is climbing the cactus and eating my flowers. This one's way too naughty. I need to get it out before it ruins everything. By the way, these little guys are seriously healthy, living off plants instead of craving protein and sugar like ants. Makes me wonder, do ants ever get diabetes like humans? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think the appearance of these new creatures will ruin their excitement for this new ecosystem? Nope. Our brave little ants, even when facing creatures much larger than themselves, aren't afraid to confront them and to continue foraging for the colony. Hey, they've moved on. Let's go explore and find more food. No need to fear these big ones. If they come, we fight. That's right. We are mighty ants not scared of bigger creatures. Let's keep exploring. Let's go. I found a bowl of honey. Everyone, come eat. See, overcoming fear leads to sweet rewards. Is it delicious, everyone? Yummy. Eat quickly, then bring some back for the others. Wow, did I just see something? Look, an ant caught a small cricket and is carrying it home. Oh no, it fell. Probably because the sand's slippery. Well, I did import the sand to make things more exciting for them. Exciting! Watching me fall is exciting! I've dropped this prey five times and still can't bring it home! Do you think this ant adventure ends here? No way! They're still eagerly exploring the pyramid. Oh, another ant found prey. Wow, these ants have a fierce warrior spirit. Their queen would be so proud. Let's hurry back and get rewarded. Ouch! Why is this tunnel so small? I can't fit the food through! So disappointing! I need human help! The colony scatters to explore every corner of the pyramid. Wow, this place feels like another world! As night falls, the ants return inside the pyramid to rest. And so, their vacation ends here. After a day full of adventure and exploration, their worldview must have expanded a lot. Who knows, their next trip might be somewhere even farther away. Maybe the moon. If you're curious about the ants' next adventure, leave a comment below. Thank you for following today's journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Antrick for more exciting and travel vlogs.